here's something I think we're all guilty of. One thing that's dramatically helped me in my life to be more present, more engaging and more happier is to be that, to be exactly present in the moment. I used to struggle a lot with being very consumed by the past and very focused on the future that I was never enjoying the process, I was never enjoying the here and now. And that's the only thing that actually matters, that's the only thing that actually exists. I think that if you're too consumed by the past, it'll kind of put you in fear of making decisions, it'll control and dictate your life. And if you're too focused on the future, which is fantastic, obviously it's great to be ambitious, but the future doesn't exist. Things are subject to change and you have to be prepared to reevaluate things. I think that for me personally, I was very focused on the future in terms of setting goals, achieving goals that I was consistently let down because my goals were just so large. They were so big and it took so much time to achieve them. It took so much time to get to them. And then when I just got too far, too long, I was consistently let down regardless if I achieved it. Just because it took such a long time that by the time I reached those goals, they changed. They became bigger and better. But what I'm trying to say is, I personally believe in being present in the moment. Something that is extremely powerful, something that is extremely underrated. And ever since I began just to be conscious of just being here, being present, enjoying the here and now, being focused, enjoying the process, regardless of if it's good or bad or not, I, I've become more aware, I've become more in control and I've become more happier. Like, I know it sounds like, buy this magic pill and you'll be happy. But it's true, like until you endure it, it is so true. Literally every day I'm just, I'm happy. I'm focused, I'm determined and I'm present. For me, when I was just so consumed by everything I wanted to achieve, it became a kind of a vicious cycle of skipping the process, not enjoying myself and one thing I learned was regardless when you get to that destination of the goal you achieve or want, you're not going to be happy because once you achieve that you're going to want more. For example, like I want a house, you know, once you get the house, I want to pay the house off or I want a new car or I want to travel more or I want to be with this person or I want to be this person. Regardless if you get to that stage, you're going to want more, you're not going to be grateful, you're not going to be sound. And like, I'm so happy that I experienced all that process. I'm happy that I went through that. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it was very consuming and overwhelming because I was skipping everything. I was going through life just on flight mode, on repeat, not enjoying it. And about a year and a half, two years ago, I just learned, I became, I was reading and researching on how to become more mindful, how to become more present, how to become more happy. And I think you can't skip this step. I think you have to get, you have to go through this step to really understand like the, the keys to success, right? And I know how all this sounds like, ugh, everyone's rolling their eyes. But it's true, like I've experienced it. I was very ambitious, I still am, but my mindset wasn't there. I wasn't grateful, I wasn't appreciative for everything I was getting for all the rewards I was doing for the work I was putting in and now my god like I'm happy for anything like I speak to someone who's you know in line with me or if I just go for a walk or if it's a beautiful day <laughs> like I'm so grateful like we're still in lockdown seven months in Victoria longest lockdown in the world and you know like a lot of stuff happens to us but it's in our power it's in our control to kind of react to these things right and this can only be done if you're present in the moment, if you're in the here and now. And I think, all right, you're about to roll your eyes, but I think it's such a beautiful thing. I think it's such a pure thing to being present. And it's like you focus and you research on all these people like Michael Jordan, you know, the greatest basketball player in the world, in my opinion. They ask him, how are you so good? How did you become so good? He was always present. You ask everyone who, you know, watched him, admired him, he was just present in the moment. He spoke to his audience, he was ready, he had, he was switched on, he was there. He was himself and he was present. And it's needed, it's essential. You can't become 
yourself, you can't become successful, you can't become better if you're not present, if you're not enjoying the process, if you're not content with being happy, with building yourself and getting a bit sidetracked. This topic's going to be here and now. I had this thought this morning and yeah, like it's just, I think it's not spoken a lot of. I think it's incredibly strong to be present in the moment. I think it's incredibly beautiful to be intact with everything, right? Like you don't want to, if you get sad, cry. Don't wait. Don't focus about that. If you go through something in the past, learn from it, but don't let it consume you. It's like if you were in a relationship, if you broke up with somebody, does that mean every relationship's bad? Should that mean you have trust issues or you're scared to get into a new relationship? Or if you have a bad travel experience, are you never gonna travel again just because of what happened in the past? <laughs> like, mindset. And by no means I'm saying mine is good. Well, you don't wanna, actually I am. My mindset is pretty good. I'm happy with my mindset, but I'm still growing it. Um, I will always grow it, as we all will. But what I'm saying is, you can't let the past dictate your future. You can't let the past consume you. Right? Because people become so scared and that just changes their whole approach towards life. And if you get to that stage, you're just going to be such a cynical, depressed person. And my point is, be in the present. When you're speaking to somebody, don't speak to respond. Speak to understand. Enjoy the conversation. Learn something from it. Build relationships with people. You know, don't always have a hidden agenda, but just be a good person, be yourself, be present, give people the respect that they deserve in terms of replying to them, you know, like reply to the actual question, not just, hey, how are you? Oh, good. Like, don't be, don't be a robot, be yourself and just be conscious. Something I'm doing every day is I'm trying to be conscious of you know, am I drifting? Am I thinking of something else or somebody else? And I'm gonna keep bringing myself to this. You know, like I'm, that's my main goal, just to become very conscious of the things I say, of the time I spend. And I think once you start pinpointing all these things, it becomes an amazing cycle, it becomes addictive. And you learn so much about yourself, about the ways you can carry yourself and build yourself and how you can like, you know, control, I'm not saying control conversations, but how you can kind of benefit through these just simple, basic conversations, how much you can learn, how much you can grow and gain. And, oh my God, if something as basic as that is so beneficial, then just imagine what could transpire. Imagine what could come from all this. And yeah, present guys, being mindful. So just if you guys are interested in being like mindful and present, one thing that helped me was Listen to a lot of podcasts. Well, podcasts are recent, but one thing I used to do a lot of, still do, I read a lot of mindfulness books. I read The Power of Now was probably the first one I started, and probably the most powerful one I read. Incredible, amazing book. And, yeah, oh my god. Like, don't just read the book and that's it, write things down. I've still, I read it like three years ago, and I've still got a whole list of everything I learned, and everything I'm still trying to learn and apply to my life. Because it's just, it's something you can't just read and understand. It's something you gotta really focus on and become really present on. And trust me, I promise you, anyone watching this video, once you do become present, life changes. Life becomes much more beautiful. Everything becomes, <laughs> everything becomes better. It sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. Life just opens up. You're not limited anymore. You're not defined or consumed by who you once thought you were. Like you're just you're open to new relationships and new experiences and to becoming a better person. To becoming a better you essentially, yeah. It's probably the best way to describe it. And like I don't know if I'm making sense, but a story that stuck with me was a guy surfing, loved it. Went surfing one day, was attacked by a shark, right? Lost his foot. That's it, that guy could have never gone surfing again as most people would, wouldn't. Two months later, conquered his fear, went back in surfing, loved it. 
I don't know the guy's name, but his story stuck with me. Just knowing that people can overcome these things, just knowing that it is possible to overcome fears, to not be consumed by your past to make you so cynical in life. And it's good. It's a beautiful thing. I think it's necessary. There's people over there. Stupid fools. It's in my spot. Little kid was staring at me. Pfft. Subscribe, bud. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but my point is be present, be conscious of it. Like, you're not just gonna wake up tomorrow and be present in the moment. You're not gonna wake up and be happy and content. It takes a long time. I'm just starting out. Like, I'm three years in and I'm <laughs> still very conscious. I still have to be very conscious. And yeah, that's, that's today's video. The here and now, I'm gonna title this video. It's being present, being yourself, just being conscious of everything you say, of everything you do, of every everything you provide, essentially, because words can mean so much, and if you say the wrong thing to the wrong people, like, obviously, don't be scared of that, but you just wanna provide things you believe in. You just wanna be in control. You don't wanna accidentally say things you don't mean, because once it's out, it's out, right? It's a reflection of who you are. Your words are who you are. The way you communicate, the way you act, the way you respond is a big one. The way you respond is very critical. And you can just tell people that respond immediately. You know, some cases are good, like emergency services. But then you've got some morons that just throw a fight, get aggressive. And it's a difference between being mindful and educated in yourself to, yeah. I think you guys understand the point. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Today's video is going to be here and now, being present. But if you guys do have any tips um, that you guys are practicing in terms of being present, hit me up, mean the world to me. And hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you've taken something from it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.